What's up guys, Chasing here with your movie recommendation of the day. You know, there aren't many movies that you could really look at and say those are defining moments of my life. The first time I saw today's movie from 1955 was a defining moment in my life. Uh, obviously my life being revolving around film, that was just because the cinematic experience that I got from this movie was just so overwhelming. My recommendation of the day is the classic 1955 Night of the Hunter. Um, my goodness, one of the greatest... I mean, mind you, okay, this is what I should say. It is one of the best thrillers of all time. It is a, a, a very creepy, terrifying film, but for 1955, it's not up to par with like the usual suspects type of thriller. So don't go expecting, you know, the fast-paced modern day thriller, but go in this movie and really just watch the evil in this movie. And it is so haunting and so scary. And uh, Robert Mitchum playing the... Uh, it's just so good. I don't even really want to tell you what this movie's about, but that gentleman right there is not a very good man. That's Robert Mitchum. He plays in this movie that was uh, directed by Charles Lawton and, and absolutely phenomenal. The Criterion Collection. I don't really talk about the DVD portions or the, the Blu-ray aspects, but this is the Criterion Blu-ray, a great, great pickup. They they totally made this movie so beautiful. It looks crystal clear. Um, and again, you know, I know that when people talk about movies, we were kind of talking about this earlier, the, the go-tos are performance, story, plot, uh, but not many people talk about shadows. Uh, one of my, I think my best essays in college was writing about the use of shadows and the use of black and white in Night of the Hunter. Now, obviously the entire film is in black and white, but there are, the, the scope and the look of this movie is so beautiful and so mesmerizing. Um, the way that darkness and shadow represents evil and like, you know, straight out of hell and the light represents heaven and good and, and holy. And it is so good, but so symbolic. This is, this is cinema, this is a cinema textbook right here. You want to bring your level of movie appreciation to a deeper level, this movie will do it. And if you watch it once and you don't really catch it, watch it again and then just keep your eyes on the light and the shadow. How do those, how do those aspects tell the story for us, right? Here's the thing, right? If you just want to watch movies for fun, I get it. But but I ask you, you know, these are art forms. I did say that at the beginning of this. These are art forms that are meant to speak and tell us things. And when you have the amount of money that these filmmakers have or had to create these stories, nothing's really by accident. So like, yeah, there are cool things that people say, oh, critics are reading too much into them. Are they, or are do you think that a person who finally is making the movie of their lifetime is just kind of making things by accident? No, everything is on purpose. And that is so true in this movie. So calculated, so well done, so well created. A truly beautiful, restored piece of work, Night of the Hunter, one of my favorites easily. Make sure to check this movie out. That's your recommendation of the day.